Here in Beijing, behind me is the Afghan embassy, which was established in 1955. The national flag is still up, but it seems pretty quiet inside. Hours ago, the Afghan capital Kabul was taken over by the Taliban after two decades of U.S. military occupation, while locals watched helicopters evacuating personnel from the U.S. embassy, Afghanistan's president fled the country. The speed of the transition in Afghanistan has taken the world by surprise, including its neighbor, China. Former Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping once said, problems in Afghanistan are of global strategic significance. China and Afghanistan share a border. This forms a threat to China, which can geographically encircle China. Afghanistan shares a 90-kilometer-long border with northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, which is home to the largest number of Muslim Uyghurs in the country. In July, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi met with Afghan Taliban's co-founder and chief negotiator, who also heads the Taliban's political office. During the meeting, Wang stressed that ETIM is an international terrorist organization listed by the UN Security Council, which poses a direct threat to China's national security and territory integrity. He clearly stated hopes that the Afghan Taliban will draw a line with the ETIM and all other terrorist organizations. Against this backdrop, what is China's role in the future of Afghanistan? I talked to an expert on the region who believes the situation in Afghanistan has brought opportunities as well as challenges for China as a neighboring country. Because the new government they needs a lot of uh, new measures to, to settle the internal divisions, to settle the refugee problems. And that's why they have to facilitate and uh, upgrade the cooperation with important neighboring countries, especially China. But it also means um, a lot of challenges, especially we have to know before 2001, under the Afghan Taliban dominated regime, actually Ta Afghanistan became the very important center of the global extremism and global terrorism. Some of the terrorist, terrorist groups founded the training camps there, and many of the extremists and the terrorists after the training in, uh, in these camps, they penetrated back to China and become the major threat to the stability and the peace inside China. Uh, the terrorists inside Xinjiang, they launched the, 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 a lot of the terrorist attacks against the, uh, civilians, not only inside Xinjiang, but also in other provinces, even in Beijing of China. So that's why uh, China expressed very clear concerns to the developments of Afghan issue. We cannot tolerate any terrorism that harbored inside uh, Afghanistan. And we are determined to protect ourselves if this uh, terrorist uh, uh, harbors and would be harbored in Afghanistan, no matter who or no matter where. So I think this is a very uh, principle that should be insisted by China in the future. As the situation changes on the ground, China's stance is reflected by what Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi said in March. As Afghanistan's friend and neighbor, China will push for reconciliation and reconstruction in Afghanistan with respect and at the request of the Afghan people.